Welcome to Robotics for Creative Practice. I, my name is Dr. Garth Seglin, and I'm the instructor for this course. It's in the ID8 program at Carnegie Mellon University. This is the first of, a, of several short videos that are part of what would normally be the first day lecture content, just to introduce the course and get all the students oriented. In a nutshell, this course is about raising big questions about using machine behavior as, a create, as an artistic medium. I mean embody behavior in the sense of simple machines and simple robots that are interacting interacting with each other in the world and possibly humans. These form a, a spectrum of behavior that itself can be used in an expressive way. And the idea is to see how we can use that uh, to raise questions about art and humanity and the kinds of interactions. As such, it's a pretty practical hands-on course. The emphasis is on actually making projects. Uh, leading to a final performance. The final performance is normally public and documented, and we'll see how that works this semester. I consider it a research class in that it's mostly asking questions for which there aren't clear answers. So the idea is together to look at previous work, look at the ideas, consider the kind of big picture, learn some essential skills, and then try to immediately apply them toward creative ends. And it's that, that exploration that we'll learn the most. We'll make simple embodied machines. First, we'll work in simulation, which will have fewer bounds and we'll be able to build bigger things. And then uh, hopefully in some physical capacity, um, normally the machines are fairly simple. And the idea is they're more conceptual and more expressive machines, which focus on some kind of interaction in a way to create an effect or tell a story um, rather than being robots in the more typical sense of industrial machines or, or humanoids. It's an idea class, specifically uh, cross-listed between robotics and drama, and situated within the physical computing area and the integrated uh, environments area. Um, it's intended to, to address a pretty wide range of experience levels. The idea is that students come in with at least a sort of junior level skill in their own department, and then are able to cross disciplinary boundaries and work with students across all other departments this is the essential premise of ID8 that we work collaboratively in a way that tries to cross disciplinary boundaries. So as such, all projects are done in either pairs or, or teams, typically uh, trying to balance out skills and interests uh, to make groups that can together produce a better outcome. 